welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. I am just walking home from having dropped Jasper at nursery. Um, I had to go via the post box as well. It's a bit wet, a bit drizzly. It's quite nice though. I don't usually drop parcels in the post box because I don't get proof of postage. So um, I can't claim if they get a missing. But oh well, look, there's the house we should have been buying. Um, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Um, yeah, another quiet day today really. Not much going on. I need to get some knits blocked, so I think I'm going to do that. And Tom's finishing at three to give me a little bit of a break this afternoon. So that'll be nice. I need to concentrate on where I'm walking because it's really, really slippery. Right, back in the dry and I didn't slip over. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I need to block a few knits. I have a couple of gift knits that I want to block out, so we'll do that a little bit later on. Um, oh, the washing machine's on. I'd forgotten about that. Sorry about the noise. I have got really far behind with the washing <laughs> this week. So I have got so much laundry to get done in the next couple of days. Um, I need to edit the vlog. I am not being as efficient as with that this year. Normally I start editing it kind of in the afternoon of the day that I'm recording it and then it's kind of almost ready to go the next morning. But this year is just getting away from me and the days are getting away from me. So I have got to edit the vlog, but that's fine. I can sit down and do that in a little bit. And what else? What else was I gonna to talk to you about? I don't know. Um, yeah, my burners should be arriving today. In fact, I've got a few packages that should be arriving today. Tom's Christmas present should be arriving, um, as well as a couple of other bits. I think my parents, there's some bits of my parents that I've had notification to say that they're arriving. So we're getting there. Christmas, Christmas stuff is arriving, which is good. And I'm just rambling now, aren't I? What else was I gonna say? I don't know. I need to get on with the gift knit that I'm doing for my dad. That's one of the things that I really need to do. So I'm gonna try and do some of that today. But I have made quite a lot of progress on the blanket that I'm making out of the Henny Penny Makes Advent Calendar. So I'll try and share that with you a little bit later on as well. Anyway, I am gonna stop rambling. I am going to finish making my cup of tea and I'm gonna go and sit down and edit this vlog. No, no. The treetops are covered up in snow and I always miss you so What have we got for the house today, Arthur? Kettle. Where's that going to go? I think it's a teapot rather than a kettle. Santa is going for right, but it's you I'm longing for. I have burners. They arrived. Um, I need to work out plugging them in. That's going to be the only issue because the cables are obviously not massively long. So I've managed to get this one plugged in at the same in the same one as this one, but this plug won't quite reach. Um, so we either need a longer extension cord or something else. I've Don't got... forget to leave a like and subscribe. I've got an Arthur. <laughs> um, and I cut some tablecloth to go on that workbench as well. Not the best tablecloth. We've obviously used it for painting with the kids and I can't get the paint off. Um, it's also got the odd hole in. But it's better than nothing. It's only going to get covered in dye anyway. Yes! Right, let's block some knits. I have a bowl of lukewarm water it's not really warm but it also doesn't feel cold um i use soak um i love this because you just need a little bit in the water and you don't need to rinse it and it smells really good and we are blocking my dance like no one's watching cow um these are all gifts so we're just going to pop that in the water let it soak a little bit. We are blocking um, a thin hat. And I'm also going to block the um, egg whim mitt that I knit. Let's just hope the colour stays fast. <laughs> it should do. I dyed it. It'll be fine. 
Right. And I'm literally just going to put those in there and just leave them for, well, <laughs> normally I'd say I'll leave them for 10 minutes, but um, I've left my blocking things up in the office and Tom is in a meeting at the moment, so I can't get them down at the moment. So I'll basically just block them until I can get them again. Right, I've just squeezed out the worst of the water from the knits, but I'm going to use my spin dryer to um, get everything out, seeing as I've got one and I can do it. So I'm just going to grab it all, stick it in the spin dryer, stick the lid in, stick the lid on, ready for the big noise. dryer and I'm gonna this one I'm actually gonna block out properly um these the mitts and the hat I'm just gonna lie out um just to dry I don't want to overstretch the hat um so I'm just gonna lie that one out and the same with the mitts I don't want to overstretch those um so I'm just gonna lie those out to dry flat but this one I want to give this a bit of a stretch um, I've got some of these Knit Pro knit blockers, um, so I am going to use those. Let's move this a little bit. There we go. So I'm just going to find the edge, and I'm just going to stick these in the edge. <laughs> Hoping that blocking it is going to sort this curl out a little bit as well. <laughs> Stick a little one in there too. And then I'm going to do the same along the top edge. some down the side just to give this a little bit of a stretch out. And there we go. And then as I said I'm just going to find space on here to lay these ones out just to dry. I'll pop this upstairs somewhere safe a little bit later on. I'm getting there slowly with all the stars I've been blocking. How pretty are they all? While I'm in the midst of blocking all the things, I thought I'd get the final stars blocked as well. This is the last batch, so once these are dry, I can start assembling the garland. Right, here is the progress that I have made so far on the Henny Penny Makes advent calendar. Um, this is my plan for it, basically, is to turn it into a blanket. I can't remember if I've mentioned this already on Vlogmas, but I'm going to be alternating um, two of the day's colours across a row. So this first row, which I have completed, um, is days one and two. And then we will have days three and four, days five and six, and days seven and eight, and then obviously nine and ten, etc., going throughout the blanket. So it's coming on nicely. I think it's going to be a really, really, really fun blanket. Right, good afternoon. It is about 20 to four. Tom has finished early and I am getting a little bit of peace and quiet. So I thought I would come and chat. Um, you are on the bed, on the tripod, so I'm going to try really, really hard not to move so that we don't wiggle the camera too much. <laughs> but there were a few things I wanted to say. Um, first of all, again, big thank you for all of your comments. It's lovely hearing from everyone that's watching and yeah, that's been amazing. Um, thank you to everyone that's commented on the giveaway thread. Again, I have gone through and put a heart next to everybody's comments for that. I just can't respond to them all. 
Um, but I will be closing the giveaway thread tomorrow, I think. Is it today? It's Wednesday today. So I'll be closing the giveaway thread tomorrow and then I'll be announcing the winner in Friday's video, I think. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so that was that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've got a couple of extra vlogmases to add to our vlogmas list that's down in the drop down box just underneath the video. Um, and that is Liz, who is the Yarn Waffle podcast. She's doing Vlogmas this year. And also Michelle, who is Miss Strawberry Makes. Um, so I have added them to the list um, for you to go and check out if you would like to. It's a massive list, isn't it? Absolutely massive list. Um, I haven't opened my advents yet. I was going to do that. Shall we open advent calendars? Let's start with Henny Penny Makes number nine. I think my camera's flipped around for some reason. Anyway. Oh, that's pretty. Here it is. It's a lovely grey with little tiny pops of kind of a corally pink in there. And it is the good fairy. Good character is vital to help defeat the villain. She traditionally enters stage right, which is associated with heaven. And it comes with a lovely little fairy stitch marker. Pop that safe there. Then we have got Spectrum Fibres. A lovely limey green colour. I'm liking the semi-solids mixed in with the speckles. I think it's going to be really interesting to put them all in colour order at the end of the calendar. And then my swap. I'm hoping there's a chocolate in here. Here we go. Ooh, a very pretty grey. I think, I think it's got... Um, coloured neps. It's like a tweedy one with little coloured neps and a caramel koala. Looking forward to this. <laughs> um, so that's the advent calendars. And then what else is going to talk about? Project bags. I have been trying to sort out project bags. I have a real lack of Christmas project bags. I have kind of three. So now that I've finished blocking out all the stars, I have salvaged this project bag and I have popped my gnome in here, um, who has now got a very, very cute little hat with a bauble on the end. <laughs> um, so that's going to house my gnome for the moment. This was a project bag from Ellie at Craft House Magic. Um, and then I've got... This is my another actual Christmas project bag. I got this this year from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane. Um, and it's housing my planned Christmas Eve cast on. So this is the colourway that I am planning for my Christmas Eve cast on. And this is cosy and joyful. Um, and it was a set with the bag. So I'm not kind of using this bag at the moment because I'm saving it for my Christmas Eve cast on. And then finally, I'm counting this one as a Christmas bag. It's more of a winter bag, really. Um, this is a lovely one from Gem at The Little Grey Girl. Um, and it's just got really cosy little knitting sheep on it. But it is much more of a winter bag. Um, but yeah, a real lack of Christmas project bags. So maybe I need to do some shopping. Maybe I need to put it on my Santa list. That's what I need to do. My list to Santa. If Santa is watching this, then I need Christmas project bags. <laughs> um, and this one's housing my heart and mitts. I can't remember if I've shown you my progress on them or not. I've got a bit out of sync with what I have and haven't shown you because I recorded a couple of bits that then didn't get included because um, I had too much footage anyway. But this is where I'm at. I've caught up quite well. I've, I'm a little bit behind again, but hopefully I might get a little bit done this evening. But yeah, there we go. Right, I am going to leave today's vlog kind of here, I think, because I am going to have a little bit of a rest and a little bit of quiet time. I'm going to put on some vlogmases myself and I am going to sit 
and I am going to knit or crochet, I haven't quite decided which, and enjoy the peace and quiet for a couple of hours before it becomes child chaos again. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>